Alright, so I hope this is in focus. Um, I'm gonna do something that might be stupid, but body positivity and stuff, so. Um, I was about to hop into the shower. Um, it's 12.30 am. I should have showered earlier, but I have some really big exams coming up and I'm trying to study at least, though Instagram is a thing, so distractions, that's fun. And I was about to hop into the shower, so uh, naturally I undressed because I don't, I, I don't really like showering with my clothes on, I don't really see how that's too like efficient, you know. <laughs> and um, I looked into the mirror and uh, this happens every single time. I try not to look into mirrors when I shower. Some nights I don't, but other days I just look into the mirror and I just stop and I just stare. And I stand there for a few seconds and I'm just like, my body is so deformed. How is it possible for a human body to look this odd? Because everything's just completely off. There's just like rounded edges somewhere. There's fat gathered in really weird places on my body and it's not supposed to be that way. I've got like fat lumps on my chest and the sides of my stomach aren't like they're not straight and my thighs are too big. It just doesn't look like anything's in proportion. Like it looks like someone was just messing around with um <sighs> you know those games where you like combine a head with the upper body with legs so there's like three separate things it looks like that because my head looks normal and i recognize my head and i recognize my face but then it looks like it's on top of this really odd meat thing like i don't always feel completely detached from my body i just feel extremely detached from certain parts of it and it's just, it's not good. It's really, really not. Because it makes me feel really ashamed of myself and ashamed of my body. And I just feel so unnatural and abnormal. Then again, what is normal? I don't know, but I just, I wish I looked like the other guys because it's really painful. I don't know what's the most painful. Just not really recognizing myself in the mirror or just all the shame that comes from it because I know it's not supposed to be that way it doesn't feel right at all I'm not saying that being transgender is something like yeah, abnormal I mean like it's not normal but I'm not saying that it's like a bad thing or like it's not fun being trans but hopefully you get what I'm saying I'm not trying to say that like being transgender makes you this alien type creature, but that's what it feels like looking at myself in the mirror because I look like myself with my shirt on, but as soon as I take it off, like what's supposed to be under the fabric of my shirt, it's not there and there's something else under it and it feels so strange. I also just wanted to talk about it a little bit because I posted a vent thing on Instagram and someone commented that they liked how I talked about it and didn't make it seem like being trans was easy but a lot of my friends have told me that I don't really ever talk about my problems online. I feel like I talk about my problems a lot but they say that I'm this completely different person online that online I seem happy and confident and like, I don't know, people just get the wrong impression of me. Like, my boyfriend, he keeps saying, like, I can't believe that you're the same guy. I can't believe I'm dating the guy in your YouTube videos. Because that's not you, <laughs> because I'm completely different when you actually talk to me. The other day, he was talking to someone who follows me and uh, helping them with some mental health stuff. And the person had just been like, Take over, for example, he likes himself, and I was FaceTiming my boyfriend when that happened, I was on a call, and he just started laughing, and I was like, what, what, and he was like, listen to what this kid just said. 
I don't know, it's just, I'm this... Ugh. In my videos you only see me from like my shoulders and up, unless it's like a skit maybe, or that like lookbook video that I made last year that a lot of people liked actually, which was surprising. I'm planning on making another one, I just don't really know when. <laughs> but in my videos I'm in control and I can lower my voice as much as I want, I and mean, if I'm not happy with the way it sounded in a clip I can just refilm it. And I'm in total, complete control over everything. But that's not what it's like in real life. So I feel very insecure in real life. And I I have some really bad self-esteem issues. I don't know if a lot of people know that. Because people do think I'm confident. But that's so far from the truth. And I don't want anyone to get the wrong impression of me. I don't know. It just it hurts a little bit because people think that I'm this great person who's come so far and I guess I have kinda in my transition stuff but I still have such a long way to go when it comes to like self love and stuff and I don't really think I'll ever get there but I mean probably someday but I'm not sure. It's just hard when what's looking back at you in the mirror looks like an alien and you just feel so ashamed and embarrassed and disgusted with yourself. And this isn't even one of my bad dysphoria days. <laughs> this is actually quite mild. <laughs> um, I don't know, it's just... I just feel so abnormal. I just want to feel normal. I just want to look normal. I just want to look like the other guys. Well, I want to look like myself, but I just... I don't want to feel this ashamed and disgusted and grossed out by my own body. I know I've made another video before about dysphoria, not too long ago, but it's just... It keeps hurting, it doesn't go away, and I'm just... Uh, it scares me because I know that I, I can and will get top surgery to remove the strange fat from my chest, but it's literally nothing to do with my hips because it's in my bones. And it's growing, it's my literal skeleton, and there's nothing I can do about it. There's like fat retribution. <laughs> I've got some like fat on my stomach, but it's not that much, so it probably won't do that much for me. It will probably fill out the sides a bit more. But it just still sucks because like my dad has hips as well, and you'd think that would help. But like, oh yeah, it's in the family, like other guys in the family kind of like have hips. It actually kind of makes it worse because. It makes me realise even more that it's never going to go away and it's really bugging me and it makes me feel awful. <sighs> I don't know, it just, it sucks. I'm like squeezing the sides of my stomach or my hips or whatever right now. It's just, it's, it's terrible. I'm scared that when I do get top surgery I won't even be able to walk around shirtless because I'll be too embarrassed by my hips, not even the scarves. I probably won't have double incision though. I'll probably get a a surgery with uh, less scarring because I'm I'm quite a small guy chest wise. Um, so I don't I don't think the scars will be a problem, but it's just my hips and it's just I feel so insecure. I don't really know what to do about it. People are really like trying to help. Um, saying stuff like, oh, your body's beautiful and it doesn't matter what your body looks like because you're a beautiful boy and etc. But it just, it still, it makes me, it makes me feel very, like, embarrassed and ashamed and... Yeah, <laughs> I keep repeating that, sorry. It's soon 1am, I think I should probably shower now. Um, but thank you for listening. I'm sorry to anyone else who feels this way. It really sucks. Sorry to people who just have, like, even if it's not dysphoria, just like, issues with your body in general. I know how it feels. <laughs> but yeah, alright, I'll go now and have a shower and edit this video and hopefully be able to upload it tonight. Because I don't think I'm going to bed yet anyway. Hope you're all doing great. Stay safe when you drink and do not hurt yourselves. And remember there was so much fun you could ever realise, seriously. Uh, take care of yourselves and have a great night. Alright, I love you.